Yeah, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to this incredible channel and hope you're all doing good and keeping safe. Yeah, it's another beautiful day. Thank you so much for coming by one more time yet once again. And um, thank you for the subscription so far. And as many that are subscribed to this channel, I say thank you so much. And if you are by any means watching this video, and you've not subscribed yet, or you are on this channel, you've not subscribed yet, please hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon so that you will always receive notification of every videos dropped on this channel. All right. Thank you so much for doing that. Okay. Now it's been so, so much interesting uh, in crypto world for the past couple of days. It's been ups and downs okay and the market as of today is so ready as you can see from here okay this is binance smart chain all right sorry binance uh, exchange website all right this is binance exchange website all right you can see bnb trading again busd at the moment is 238 okay but today we are not going into the mark uh the price uh chart or technical analysis we are going straight to what i will tag as how to migrate your token from uh, one network to another. So today I will be sharing with you how to migrate from Binance, okay, to Matic, okay? Now they call it Polygon, all right? So Matic is still the same thing as Polygon, all right? So I'll be showing you how to migrate your token from Binance to uh, a Matic network, all right? So uh, because at the moment they just launched the uh, the uh, DeFi for the Matic, all right. So and so many projects are have been migrated to the network at the moment. So it's rather good to be a part of those the early my uh, uh, people that are migrating into the network, all right. That is what I have to share with you today. So I will share with you how to migrate from Binance to Matic network. And um, I wanted to know that so many uh, networks that have uh, existed before now uh, have not yet, most of them have not yet uh, allowed easy migration from one network to, the, uh, to another, especially Binance and Ethereum. You have, to, uh, you have to go through bridge. And if you are using the bridge, it comes with uh, uh, some high transaction fee. So there is a way, a simpler way to to uh to do it okay so i wanted to pay attention uh, attention to this uh video i will show you, i'll be uh, taking you through step by step on how to get it done all right so today you will be needing uh two uh exchanges exchanges okay first is binance and the second is mexc exchange I'll be dropping the link of these two exchanges in the description panel. If you don't have it yet, please get it as up, all right? So it is so important to get that. And then before you can uh, use this platform, okay, I want you to know that you will first have to add the Matic network on your, uh, maybe your device, on your Ethereum, um, especially MetaMask, okay? You're going to be adding the network uh, on to MetaMask. I'll be dropping the uh, how to set it up to on the in the description panel. Just follow the uh, the the steps there and get it done because you will need your uh, receiving address on the Matic network for to to uh, withdraw from Binance and from MEXC okay uh, exchange. So. Without wasting more time, let's get the business done. Let's go straight to the business of the day, all right? So now this is Binance, okay? As always, you're familiar with this interface, all right? Then I will go, I'll be going to the uh, fires and spots, okay? Okay, this is Binance. We want to withdraw from here. Example, now you will need BUS, uh, US, sorry, USDT, okay? USDT is the general uh, stablecoin that is accepted uh, without restriction on any exchange, okay? USDT especially, all right? It's not limited, okay? It is virtually accepted on any platform, all right? So you'll be needing USDT, okay? We are going to be withdrawing uh, USDT from Binance and receiving at 
uh, MEXC exchange, all right? Like, like I told you before, you will need this exchange platform as well. Just follow the uh, link. I'll be dropping in the description panel. Get it done. Uh, make sure you, you do your SMS verification and your email verification. And also, please, I would like you to activate the Google authentication, uh, 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 what now, security as well. So you have these three and your accounts will be secured, okay? So against hackers or phishing uh, 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 effect or attack, all right? So that is that. Like, so if you want to, uh, now from Binance, like I said, this is from Binance, all right? So you will need to do withdraw. Example, we have USDT already from here, okay? We go to here, okay? Let's say we have, um, let's search here, let's search here. Uh, USDT, USDT, okay? I search here, I click this, this is what I want to withdraw. Example, I have USDT on my Binance, okay? Then you go to your um, MEXC exchange, all right? Now, you go to your asset here, okay? You click the asset, okay? Then you want to deposit, that means you want to receive, you click receive, okay, here. Now, look at this interface, we have like, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Network you can receive from here. Now, all this comes with a uh, different transaction fee. And the lowest of them all, I think now is TRC20, okay? After them, we have BEP20, uh, that is Binance Smart Chain, all right? But because of the uh, accept, uh, acceptability issue, Okay, we are not going to be using this. It's also cheap, but we are going to be using the TRC, all right? Now, I want to receive USDT in my MEXC exchange, all right? Then, because of the price, okay, the transaction fee, I will be clicking, the, if I click this, all right, it comes with I transaction fee, because let's, I will show you what, what it means later in the on Binance, all right? So I will click this TRC20, then copy this address, Okay, have you, have you seen that? Then copy this address, all right? Then come back to Binance, all right? Now, it's gonna ask me where to, this is my USDT example, the USDT on Binance, ask me with the address it's going to, all right? I paste here, all right? It, Binance now uh, give us the privilege of automatically detecting the type of address you are, you are uh, inserting in uh, Binance so that you will not make mistake, all right? It will always uh, it will by default uh, uh, trigger an error for you if the address is not correct. All right. So he said wallet address automatically match to corresponding network. All right. So that is that. Then you now come here to set your amount of um, BUSD you want to set. Okay. Then you click once because this is I have a low uh, USDT here. Just send it here. Okay. Just click trigger, everything is set, then trigger the send, okay? Once you've done that, you will receive it. After a couple of minutes, you're gonna receive it in your MEXC exchange, all right? Once you receive that, then what we are going to do is now to trade, okay? To trade um, USDT for Matic, all right? How do you do that? You come to, your, uh, to the market, okay? You come to the market, then we come here to search. Okay, this is a search panel, Matic, okay. Then Matic USDT, this is what we wanna pick, all right? Okay, like this, I've done my, you see, I've done my phone number by authentication, uh, Google Dedicator verification, email verification, all right? So that is that, it's very important. The three is very, very important. At least you have to do that. So this is the interface, the trading platform for Umatic and USDT. All right, this is it here. Now at the moment it's selling for a while. It's the price has really dropped. Okay, but this is ninety nine cents. All right, so it's a too good time to buy if you not bought any Matic yet. All right, so you just trigger your uh, put your buying uh, buying price here. Your USDT will be showing here. Okay. You can set your own buying price, okay? Let's say the market price, if you want to buy market urgently, it's gonna buy for you at the best market price. Or you want to set your limit, you want to set your own price, all right? You know how to do that already. Then 
click buy it's going to buy for you then after doing, doing that then it will go to your assets you're going to see your uh your assets here okay so when you have your matic you come here to search matic okay now this is it here okay you can see deposit and um withdraw then you're going to click withdraw okay now they're giving you some uh, questionnaire here to certify that you are, you know what you are doing. Just click. Uh, once the withdrawal is complete, your asset cannot be refunded. Please tick to confirm that you know the risk. One withdrawing asset to an unreliable platform may result in asset. I know that. Okay, you click this withdrawing for a fraudulent airdrop or other deceiving rewards will result in asset losses. I know that. Purchasing and withdrawing, blah, 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 blah. I know that, okay? I have read all, okay? Then you click this, okay? Now, this is where the deal is, all right? Now, because we are sending to Matic Network, you see, it has already given us the Matic, um, uh, highlighted the Matic Network for us here. Now, you now go to your MetaMask, all right? After setting up your um, your Matic network on the MetaMask, then you copy the address there, okay? Then you come here, all right? Because you want to withdraw Matic here on the uh, MEXC exchange, you come here, then you paste the address here, okay? I already have one address here. I paste this here, okay? Example, then the amount, okay? I want to withdraw. Let's say all, okay? Because it's low, okay? So just like this, you follow the step, then you can put your, maybe your, any of your remarks, maybe Matic and to Ethereum, anything you want to put there. It is not mandatory, it's optional anyways. Then you trigger your submit. Once you've done that, it's going to appear in your MetaMask or wherever you have the uh, Matic network set up, okay? So this is how to, to migrate from Binance to Matic network, all right? So in summary, again, you're gonna need Binance Exchange and the MEXC Exchange. This is, I think this is, this is the simplest, the cheapest way, one of the cheapest way to get it done, all right? So you come to your uh, Binance here, you trigger the withdraw, okay, USDT, all right? Then you paste there, you copy the address from uh, receiving address from MEXC uh, Exchange, USDT Exchange, okay? You paste it here, all right? Make, don't forget to, to select the TRC20, okay? It's the cheapest, okay? Then you copy that, you paste it here in the Binance, then you send, okay? You're gonna receive. Then you come to your MEX after receiving it, you go to your um, market, okay? Okay, you come here, you trigger, uh, you search for Matic, okay? Then you trigger, you click this, it will bring you to the uh, trading platform then you're gonna set your um, buying quantity, all right? You said it here, you already know how to do this, okay? So you're familiar with this already, then trigger it. When it's, it's, uh, it's filled, okay, it's gonna appear here. Once it's filled, it will go to your asset, okay? Click the asset, all right? Click the asset and go straight to uh, search here, okay? Just click, come down, search for Matic, okay? Click it here. You already have the option here, withdraw option. Okay. Then this is Matic already by, by default. Copy the address on your Matic uh, uh, network on the MetaMask. Okay. Paste it here. Paste the amount you want to withdraw. Then submit. All right. See, this is how it is. All right. So I believe you've gotten something today. All right. Please, if you've not subscribed yet to this channel, please kindly do. All right. Thank you so much for coming by yet again. I will be sharing with you one or more video soon about what to do, how to maximize the usage of Matic Network, all right? Thank you so much for coming by. Stay safe, stay out of trouble, and God bless you. Cheers.